taste buds they come into the mic talking about the food they hate talking about the food they like two fools gonna fight but only one food can be right taste buds man yeah they come into the mic i'm talking taste buds. hey taste buddies welcome to t-a-s-t-e buds I'm Joe DeRosa. I'm Sal Volcano. Here we are today with our first lightning round episode. Okay, we talked about this and we have a new format buster coming at you. We're calling these lightning episodes. We're going to do them once in a while. Sometimes we have a battle that we love or we think is really good, but it might not be insanely popular things or it might not be able to sustain a whole episode. We decided to lump those into an episode together. In this one, we were doing three different battles today. You got Tootsie Pop versus Blow Pop. You got... Sprite versus Coke. Sprite versus Coke, which is the headliner, <laughs> the main event today. Yeah, yeah. And then you also got... Uh, guacamole versus salsa. Guacamole versus salsa. So maybe these could be whole episodes. I don't know, but you're getting an action-packed, filled-to-the-brim Taste Buds episode today. A triple battle. We're going to put a clock on, so we only have a certain amount of time to go back and forth on these things, and then you got to move to the next yeah. one. Every single win and loss in this episode counts, which means you could be coming out 3-0 today, babe. Or I could be coming out 2-1 and one or, or so on. Or you could be so coming forth. out 0-3. That's correct. Yeah. Well, if you were coming out 3-0, I would be coming out I know. That's, that was a joke. Yeah. Okay. See what I did uh, there? Yeah. yeah, which means he could go 3-0. and I can go 0-3. Yeah, there course. you go. There you go. These are big. Uh, and I think a lot of people are passionate about guac and salsa. They are great. Coke and Sprite. I don't know about Tootsie Blow if they're passionate, but I sure have a favorite. They are, well, well you were, look, we're going to get into all of it. Yeah, just and do I know. No, just, just do a thing go. because it do doesn't thing. doesn't go away. It's a mental thing. It's a mental illness. Jesus, look. It truly is an illness. <laughs> no, for sure it is. You know what other mental ill, <laughs> mentally ill thing you do that I didn't know so about please you? Please tell me. <laughs> that I didn't know about you till we were on a trip recently. You eat the butts of the bread in the loaf. Yeah. Who eats the butts of the loaf? I, I do. Really? What do you mean? Bread is bread, bro. Never in my life have I eaten a butt. I have only <laughs> thrown them in the trash. I have never <laughs> once used just, a butt for the just sandwich. Just isolate that sentence, please. <laughs> um, no, I. Uh, well, but why not? It's like a treat. It's like it's curveball. It's different. It's no, a different experience it's with too the too much crust. The ends of the. I also don't call it the butt. I'm just called it's the end. It's too much crust. It's too much crust. Yeah, but that's what's fun about it. No. I, Embrace it for what's fun about it. That's do, not Would fun. I like my loaf to be all ends? No. But do I like the two ends? Yeah. No. Do you save the two ends to, to go together? Some people do. I, you know, you're right. You know, you're right. This might be the, the end of the bread might be maybe something to, to battle with, maybe even on a lightning episode. Ends of the bread versus. Yeah, a lot of people do that. Like growing up. They just, uh, they, was it usurp mm -hmm. the, uh, the first one and then you get all the way to the end mm -hmm. and that small, that small top right, like a bookend yeah. keeps getting, and then it's in there at the end and you have two that's happened in my household. But when I got older, I was like, I'm going to lead with that. I'm going to eat it. So you open a fresh loaf. No. Of Pepperidge Farm bread, and you're pulling out the butt first. Nah, probably no, not. Come on. But, but I'm not necessarily waiting until just the two are left to have some of that butt. It's a, it's a, it's just a terrible piece of bread. Why? It's it, it, but it has pros and cons to the other slices of bread. It has no you pros. Get, by the way, is there a certain amount of is sliced bread standard in the amount of slices that come in the bread, or does each? I know that they they have larger and smaller loaves, but is there like a, you know, is it like thirty slices makes up a loaf? Is that something that's standardized? Uh. Uh, no, because uh, here, because if you notice, like you'll see loaves of bread that are much shorter than other ones. Like Which you, is why I said I oh, know that there are that? shorter and longer loaves. Did you of bread. say that? Yes, I didn't even hear you say that. Yeah, they, said, they call the end the heels. Ugh, uh, gross. I get a heel in my mouth. I like that. <laughs> gross. <laughs> Wait, when did you say that? I didn't hear you say it. Um, just to your face moments ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, because there are said, shorter, there are shorter and longer loaves of bread, but in those short and long loaves, is it a standardized slice count? It, you mean the same amount of slices in the short and the long? No, of course not. I just mean You're saying a shorter loaf has less slices, but always the same amount. Yeah, like yes. like like is a is a standard. Yeah, I think if you get a Pepperidge Farm Country White versus loaf, a Wonder Bread, or a, I think the same loaf, you're getting the same amount because they need to make sure. I, you know what? I've never eaten a loaf of bread and had an odd uh, slice at the end. Arnold's brick oven. It's always even slices. Yeah, right. So, so they do it that. It says usually 20 to 24. Okay. When I was little, my mom went hard with the Arnold's brick oven. 
It was like a, it was like a more of a, it was like a Pepperidge Farm related. Like there was like, like one Wonder Bread, you know, like that shit could be smushed into a ball, and it was like cheap, and it was like white bread, your typical standard white bread through and through. But then you had like, like brick oven, like it was What's like brick s- oven. Arnold's brick. I oven. like Arnold's. Show me Arnold's brick oven bread. Uh, yeah, it's like their standard like loaf, but it was like. It was very like the the slices were thinner. Oh, yeah, they were thinner and they were more firm, like like how Wonder Bread is almost like super soft. Where you bite it, it sticks to the roof of your mouth. Right. This was like this like much like more like, like firmer. I get like much more like like I don't need, like, like more precise slices of bread. I, would I get call it. such look at that canned bread. Remember canned bread. Isn't that so weird? I never heard of that in my entire life. Yeah, there's bread in a can. Oh, you mean you bake it though? No, ready like to serve. Like you pop it and no, ready to serve. Oh, really? It says it on the can, ready to serve. Brown yeah. bread. I never bread. had it, but it, it's in a can. I've never heard of it. I've heard of it. I always thought it was strange. For some reason, it's thirty-two dollars for one can of it, unless that's a bulk order. Oh yeah, for no, it's what okay. you with rye? Hmm? You with rye? Oh, all day, dude. I love rye. All day. Whole wheat? And Arnold's rye is great. Yeah. Uh, remember beefsteak rye? That was like the mainstream yeah. rye bread. What, that does not exist? Uh, I don't sure. think it's around anymore. Nah, that exists. You're crazy. Beefsteak rye. All right. Let's start off right now, baby. This is lightning. We want to go lightning. Beefsteak's all, all up in your grill right now, babe. I haven't seen it's it. so popular. In years in the, uh, in the store. Yeah, they do that soft it. rye. I, I Le- Levy's is great. Rye. I love rye bread. It's it's my favorite. Oh, it's so my good. My favorite sandwich bread. Why don't people like rye Close bread? Close second is country white, though. A country white is like no joke, dude. I'm you going have a down, and down, baby. <laughs> you have a PB and J on a country, country grammar? white? Yeah. PB and J on a country white Forget is nice. Forget it, yeah. dude. Yeah. Forget it. I'll All right. today. We're going to start off. What do you want to start, babe? Pick your poison. Well, we know, our headli- we know what our headliner is. Uh, so let's start with the other, what I would say, as you would say, powerhouse duo in this is yeah blow pop versus tootsie pop. let's get right to boy. it let's get right to it all right You're- i am taking guess tootsie pop all right tootsie pop i therefore am taking blow pop by default okay what does that mean because you're taking tootsie pop so i'm taking you're not taking it by default no is everything all right yeah pimp you know a little more business over there right now <laughs> It's like a Chevy Chase routine over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, no, not by default. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah. So, of course, that means I'm, I'm blow pop. We're going to start uh, the start the clock. We're going to lightning round, Tootsie Pop, blow pop. Boom. What, what, are, what, what, what are the parameters of the lightning round? We, have, we argue like we have we seven do. minutes total. No, eight minutes. Eight minutes total. Get get either side in. Yeah. Either side. You're wasting right, seconds, right dude. First of all... Sec- and we're not going to show results till the very end of I everything. understand that. We're not showing results till the very end. It all comes together. Here we go. Tootsie Pop is better. I think Tootsie Pop is going to dominate, despite the popularity of Blow Pops. Uh, the gum in the Blow Pop, what, which is called Charms Blow Pop, Yep. by the way, Charms, the, the Blow Pop company has the Charms company. The Blow Pop has the Charms company backing it up. Right. The Tootsie... Roll the Tootsie Pop has the yes. Tootsie company backing yeah. it up. The Tootsie Roll company. But what else does Charms make? Uh, they make some candies that I think. What else does Tootsie make besides by their the little wayside. Tootsie Rolls that nobody well, wants tootsie anymore? Tootsie is, I think, part of. Uh, t- uh. Isn't Tootsie part of a major? Uh, all right, cute kids, come see me in Austin, September twenty fourth at the Paramount Theater. That's for the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. Uh, I will be headlining there, and then the next day, September twenty fifth, I will be in Denver at the Belco Theater with David Spade and Frank Caliendo for charity. Uh, all tickets to SavileCanoComedy dot com, and then I'm on tour with. The guys, this tour has started. It's an arena tour. I'll tell you the first weekend. Uh, Glendale, Arizona, San Diego, California, and Sacramento, California. Those are the first big dates, but all dates are up, and they're at the tenderloins.com slash tour. Well, I'm sure Charms has its hand in some other things. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Tootsie is... Uh, n- n- I just go to the Just is. go to the Wikipedia page. Tootsie make... <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> okay, Tootsie is a 1982 <laughs> American. 
<laughs> I just want uh, right, so dude, Tootsie's, listen, we don't have Tootsie's time is, for Pimp's business right now. <laughs> Come on, dude. Tootsie's with Tootsie Pop. Yeah, All Tootsie right. Roll Industries. They make Tootsie Rolls. Oh, they're their own industry. So Tootsie isn't even owned by like Mars, Eminem, Hershey. Yeah. It's Tootsie Roll Industries. That makes me like it even better. And I'm okay, telling- Tootsie Roll, let me just go. Whatever it is, I think I see <laughs> becomes a Tootsie Roll to me. Yeah. Tootsie's Back in the Roll 60s when there was no better ass. candy available. I that mean, you would eat, that, to, uh, uh, that, that, that you would pull. Door. Let me see that Tootsie yeah. Roll. That you would and pull Tootsie Roll. one of these. That Tootsie Roll. Look at Don't Charms. Stop. Get it, get it. Let me see that Charm Tootsie Roll. Charm Squares. Charm Squares are, are, are the Charms version oh, of yeah, a Tootsie Charms, Roll. Oh, yeah, Charms, yeah. Like, all they, all, they, all they have is just, like, a it's sucking a f- candy that's like a lifesaver, and really, that's it. Do you know how dark times were when a child would look forward to pulling that sticky turd out of that plastic? Stick, and then it sticks does to it the look, like does wax. Does it look like thing? a sticky turd? Yes. Is everybody over that fact? Yes. I mean, the country a long time ago got over the fact that it looks like a sticky turd. To this day, to- if I had to play a shit prank on somebody, <laughs> Tootsie Roll is what I'm buying first. I, t- I mean, it looks like a rabbit turd. It's not a human turd. Uh, it, it, I love Tootsie. You know what I love about Tootsie? They might have other flavors, but it's just like all you need is like they all. How they flex, it's like you want a bite sized Tootsie Roll, a medium Tootsie Roll, a big Tootsie Roll. Like, all they need is just, like, they just play with size, and I feel like What's I'm the last getting time variety. You had one? I have Tootsie Rolls and Tootsie Pops often. Often. Define, not the pop, the pop, I believe, because I'll have a Tootsie Pop often. They got them in banks still and stuff like that. When are you having a Tootsie Roll? Be honest. Yeah. Where? I think if someone has a bowl of candy, no, 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 out, not if, if someone a, has a bowl. You just said I eat Tootsie Rolls often. I want you to tell like me hasn't been years where you're getting roll. them often. I probably had a Tootsie Roll a couple of weeks ago at my parents. From where? They buy a bag at the supermarket. They buy a bag. Okay, yeah. so your parents have a bag in the house at yeah, all times. I'll be honest. I, I don't buy Tootsie Rolls at the register. That's what I'm asking. No, I don't buy Tootsie Rolls. I buy them by the bag, though. Yeah, and you know where and they are at the register? Fun. You know where they are at the register? Bottom shelf. No. With the honey I bites I I and more. the Mary Janes and all the other shit candies of that bottom shelf. Tootsie Roll's not a shit candy, man. Okay. It's also stayed the course of time. It really is in the same wax wrapper. They also didn't change the taste of it. It tastes like I taste tasted Tootsie Rolls when I was little. It was probably which, made when you were little. But, but, They've just been sitting there but, forever. But a lot of products. Just we we talk about this often. They they waver in quality and taste over time. The taste profile changes. Tootsie Pop tastes Dude. like it always has. I digress. Let's talk blow pops. Let, first, okay, let's talk. The gum inside a Charms blow pop is a no frills, unidentifiable you are, gum. You are 100% wrong. You are 100% wrong. It is up there with like trading card bubble gum. It's got its own taste. It's delicious. It tastes like bubble gum flavor. It's up there. He said the words, it's up there with trading yeah, card bubble remember gum. remember how special trading that was? Trading card bubble gum is the worst bubble gum No, of that's all not time. true. Remember how special it that is. was? When you were a kid, you got a pack of baseball cards popping that gum in your mouth was a special event because it tasted like its own thing i i get that but it but it's good enough for the taste palette of a four-year-old a two-year-old or a six-year-old you put that in your mouth you get it to a point where it's soft 10 seconds after trading come or uh, trading come i said trading come (laughs) 10 seconds after trading gum cards uh, trading card gum. That's what I was trying to say. Ten seconds after trading card gum is eaten, it has no flavor. The same exact as a tootsie pop, uh, as a blow pop. You wait to get to the middle of a blow pop all that time, and then you get there, and it is you rip it off the. You got to bite, clamp down to the high heavens. You got to rip it off the stick. Some of it stays on there, and then God forbid you have a filling, a cavity, or something in that teeth. You chew it, and then it finally softens, like and you're... then you get the burst of flavor for twenty seconds, and then that thing is a wad of chewy, tasteless, flavor- flavorless, and it starts to get more rubbery. When when you the more you chew uh, a, a blow pop gum, it starts to like get like squeaky. Like all the uh, the sugar has come out of it. It's just like it's weird. Like you bite it and almost get the. I almost get that feeling sometimes that I get like on on nails on a chalkboard. It's like it's like I'm just like oh this doesn't what? taste good. It gets tougher. The, oh God, you're reaching, yes. man. I'm not reaching. You're reaching. Also, all right, flavor, all right. You've wait, talked wait, wait. for too long. The no, no. Flavors. Wait, wait, wait. It's, uh, we got two minutes left. Right. You've talked for six minutes. No, no. Read about the bull pop. Read about the bull pop. Read about the bull pop. No, I'm making my blow pop argument Make, right now. Up. I'm making my blow pop argument. The flavors of blow pop, pop demolish. Wrong! The fl- le- 
They demolish the flavors of Tootsie Roll. You get a blue raspberry blow pop, forget it. Tootsie Roll has one good flavor. Wrong. Cherry. Wrong. That's it. No. That's it. I disagree. And I was going to say this. Tootsie Pop. You want the grape one? Has basic flavors. They've stayed the same. And every one of them, except maybe, I get you. Chocolate is disgusting. Chocolate is my least favorite. And you think the grape one is good? Cherry, orange, grape, chocolate. You think the grape one is good? And I think they have a ras. You think the grape one is good? They might have a raspberry. You think the grape one is good? You think grape goes with chocolate? I think it's terrific. You're nuts. You, charms, you got your standard cherry, the, the, the basic one, and then you have a grape. I think those two are good. I don't like the strawberry. I think it's too sweet. The blue raspberry. I don't like the amazing. apple. The sour apple, Charms Blow Pop, is amongst one of the most disgusting candies okay, I've so ever had. Okay, so that's one bad flavor. Tootsie knew enough not to f- with lime. <laughs> I want to see or new, apple. I want to see new Tootsie Roll flavors over the years. Not lime, or, apple. Or Tootsie I'm Pop flavors. It right says now. six flavors versus twelve flavors. Okay, so we got twelve flavors of the Blow Pop. Which since when is that a bad thing? You know? Yeah, but Blow Pop flavors. The only good Blow Pop flavors are original and, and grape. That's not true. Blue Raz is my favorite. Uh, Blue Raspberry is too much, man. It's not too it's much. Over it, the is top. The, it is the it is the most popular of the Blow Pops. Who said that? It's the one you see everywhere. When You're, you see a bowl, a bowl of blow pop. I guarantee you it's not in the top three most popular. I guarantee you. No way. Most popular Tootsie uh, blow pop flavors, please. You want to make a wager on this? You think yeah. blue is one of the is the most sold blow pop. Not original and then grape and then probably sour apple. Look at, look, look, look at the word that's bolded right there. No, no, Pim, come on. Most popular, blue raz. I just called it. Kiwi berry, terrible. Kiwi berry blast. No, no, no. Say you say I'm, I'm I was wrong. It. Say I was wrong. And, the, and brand- the brand's most popular, Blue Raz. Say, Joe, I was wrong. I don't what? I don't know about that. You don't know about it. It says it right there. What do you mean you don't know about it? I, I don't know about that. What? Chitch. Here it is: chocolate cherry grape orange raspberry for Tootsie. Wait, but go back to uh, what do you? Is, what do you not know? We asked the question, and the brand's most popular blue raz because it's the most popular. Yeah, but it's like a weird truncated sentence. Whenever he clicks on these paragraphs, sometimes it combines like multiple sentences. No, no you know, you know what I mean. It says the brand's most popular blue raz. Just Put in most popular. Right, we're out. That's the end of the debate. Charms blow pop flavor. End of debate. No, this no, is no. Get you, the fuck. No, you don't get to go what over. About the Tootsie Pop has the best ad campaign. We made in the a world. hard rule. It's eight. Uh, How many licks does it done. take to get to the center Next of one. Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. One, Should two, <laughs> crunch. You gotta you love that. You can't do this. You can't blow past the clock. It's over. This is no good, man. I have so much more to I say. I don't care. You wanted to do this. Here we are. Okay. The Guac gum versus the, the salsa. Gum, the gum at the Guac end. versus the gum sal- at the end of a the blow rules. pop is always disappointing. Follow the, the rules. The Tootsie at the end of a Tootsie Pop is always a delight. You can't do this. Delivers. You have to follow the rules. The blue Raz sucks. I go. This is so dumb. This is dumb. I, I, I you know what? These I, were your rules that you made up. I got flustered though because I didn't realize like, when I was trying to get out. That you had my, to shut the f- up. That I you was, had to not talk for six minutes straight and namely and waste all your time shooting your mouth up. What I, I realized, hope you learned a lesson. What I realized was putting the clock on it actually made me discombobulated. <laughs> Really? really? I was like, my brain was well, going wait. faster than my mouth. Something completely simple overwhelmed you? I've never seen that happen with you before. <laughs> um, I think Tootsie Pop's going to win. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Tootsie Pop. Don't blow past this clock. I think a Tootsie Pop is more iconic than a, than a, than a blow pop. Stop talking about it. That's not how lightning round works. Ready, pimp? Guac versus salsa. Go. Guacamole, right here, baby. <laughs> this salsa. dummy took salsa. salsa. He goes, I'll take salsa. Will you take it? Take it and shove it right up your ass because it is the loser in this round. You're going against guacamole, dude. The good fats of the avocado, the tomato, chopped up tomato, chopped up onion, chopped up cilantro, a little bit of lime juice, some chopped up jalapenos, some salt, some pepper. Dude, you, that is a meal, brother. That is a meal. A, a hearty salsa could be a meal it's also Doubtful. it's also diced up veggies and 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 etc it's diced up veggies and it sits in a jar nah and it's dude. like can stay good forever so you know it's got like god knows what in it it's just salt 
How come it stays Guac- good for so long? First of all, guacamole, just the word guac, like guacamole. It's one of the most unappealing sounding words ever. It's indicative of the uh, of the guac itself. Here's what, it just sounds like a disease. Oh, do you ever have guacamole? It does. Do you it's, ever have guacamole with mango in it? Dude, it's unreal, dude. Guac and guacamole, it just sounds like you have like, you have to go to the... Uh, What's the name of the skin doctor? You're wasting a lot of precious. You have to go to the do- dermatologist because wasting- I have a little guacamole. You're wa- <laughs> Why? God almighty. I'm what serious. Is this, a, is this a Gallagher routine? <laughs> I, will, I, mean, I, you will, you're, you're, I will crush your guacamole right in front of you. I'm telling you this right now. You're wasting a lot of precious time on the wrong aspect. Avocados are, I think, overhyped. I mean, you put out some guac. Let's be honest. You put out some guac for 15 minutes. You look down. The thing looks like a pile of shit. No, no, no. That's what, I don't that's like why you the, put fresh lime juice on it so it doesn't turn. It helps it for a little bit. No, it, it, stays, it stays good no, for a long time. You, uh, you make a nice guac. You put all that effort in. You're muddling the avocado. You're squeezing in all your juices. You put it in the fridge. One day later, you pull it out. Not it true. looks like it was in the fridge for six months. Not true. And I, and, 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 and you know what I can't true. do? You know what I've seen you do and I've seen people do and I can't do? When you push the brown guac. <laughs> Out of the way to to to, to get to the to get I to the green block that's you under it. In this very building, eat brown guac that was left over from a taco no, you meal didn't. you had the day no, you before. Didn't. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. And pimp ate it too. And you, no, you said didn't. this is good guac, and you gave it to pimp, and you both it ate it. Give it a pimp. You are so <laughs> full of it. If, I, if Pimp so chose to eat the brown guac, that's fine. Let me tell you something. Guac is more brown than green. Honey, I'm home, which is what my packages sing. When they come to me with additional discounts provided by Honey, I shop online, I click that Honey button that comes when you install the plug-in to your browser. I did, I, I have it. I get coupons. When I check out of things, I get discounts. Honey finds them all for me in a matter of seconds and even reminds me to click the button when I forget to do it. I love Honey. I use it all the time. I have it on my laptop as a plug-in. I have it on my phone as an app. Uh, it's, it's the best thing. You don't ever want to get to that checkout you don't ever want to get to your shopping cart and check out and it says enter promo code here and then you got nothing yeah honey checks every place for you and puts in any single applicable code which is the coolest idea i have heard in a long long time by the way folks they're offering you deals on top of deal i've been on websites where they're already saying (laughs) use this at checkout and then honey can toss maybe one or two extra things anything clothes gadgets pizza tech I mean, you know, you could save on anything. It has love, 17 yeah. million members that have saved them over $2 billion in savings. Look, if yeah. you don't already have honey, this is easy. There's no cost to get it. I just And it only saves you. I just got a Blu-ray of a movie called Microwave Massacre. The Arrow edition, uh, anniversary edition of Microwave Massacre, an exploitation film horror picture from the early 80s that starred the voice of Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> Burl lives. No. Oh, okay. No, he was, the, he was the claymation one. Okay. One of the cartoon. Uh, what does that have to do with Honey, then? I'm telling you. Okay, please. That's the last thing I ordered. <laughs> yeah. And and Honey helped you with it. Honey helped me out. All right. If you don't already have... <laughs> thank you. That was in, that was like two minutes in there that Honey will appreciate. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings like Joe. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds. By getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting Taste Buds. Uh, get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash Taste Buds. Nice and easy. Joinhoney.com slash Taste Buds. Uh, we want to talk to you about cuts now. Cuts. Cuts is a clothing uh, company Cuts. that have taken classic men's fashion staples like the plain tee and refined it, combining premium quality with minimalistic aesthetic. They have shirts, polos, hoodies, crew sweatshirts uh, made for the man who works hard, plays hard, and never settles for less, all in the sports business. You know, it's built for performance in the boardroom, the bar. The, the thing about Cuts I like. I, you can this, dress them up. You can dress them down. You can wear them to the gym. You can wear them to the office. Yeah. It's kind of that's kind of really cool because it's, it's extremely versatile. Yeah, you take a plain tee and you you Batman it up a little bit. There's nothing better than the basics. That's what you build a whole wardrobe off of, babe. I hear you. I yeah. hear you. I have what's called a uh, I forget the term, but it would be the term for Pee Wee Herman's wardrobe. <laughs> 
It's a lot of the same, so you don't have to think too much about what you're sure, wearing. Sure, sure, sure. That's what I like about cuts. It can give you some real good staples. You can get multiple. Steve Jobs, right? Didn't he wear the same outfit all the time so he didn't have to think about it? Something like that, yeah. That's how I go on the road. Yeah. I get I get a black V-neck for every night of the week. Right. Yeah. And I just go and I don't think about it. There you go. And that's yeah. what Cuts is going to help you do what you're wearing. Cuts is premium with a purpose. Each piece of clothing is designed with custom engineered fabric, expertly graded for a perfect fit, which I love too. They're really quality t-shirts, yes. uh, arming you for every challenge and opportunity. It's not just a lifestyle. It's not just clothing. It's office leisure apparel for the sport of business. And that is that is basically where we're headed. That's a very... That's a. I'm going to say something. That the, slogan is flame. The Get, Grim Reaper is coming for the dungaree. Yeah. Get you. The athleisure is not just for the gym anymore. We can. They they've cracked the code. Yeah. We dress athleisure up now. Yeah. We stay comfort every day. Get 15 percent off your first order by going to cutsclothing.com slash taste buds. That's cutsclothing.com slash taste buds. You're going to get 15 percent off. The only shirt worth wearing. Guac starts off green, but turns brown right away, and then that's it. It's called a decent food that's not loaded with a bunch of preservatives. Salsa is, is you, you talk about the high-end food for the people, the uppity people, and the working man's food. Yeah. Salsa is a working man's food. I know. Salsa came from the people. I know. Salsa you know was what? made. When I'm feeling fancy, I say, sir, garçon. Wheel that card up to my table, and I want to watch you make it right in front of me. I mean, it's an experience. I could eat a jar of salsa in one sitting. You said you talk about mangoes. You talk about mango in in your guac. What about mango in your salsa? That's insane. Mango salsa is a thing. I buy it all the time. All right, it's got heat. It's got sweet. It's got texture. It's got crunch. It's got everything. Guacamole on nachos kicks it up ten notches. Salsa on nachos ruins the nachos. I'm not literally so I, ruins but, it. But but a chip, a chip with salsa, a chip with guac. I take chips and salsa. Salsa on a taco ruins the taco. Guac on a taco kicks it up. If I my first scoop into salsa with a chip, I put it in my mouth. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna go through this bag. Like get this bag away from me. Guac is good and stuff, but it's like you take it, you eat it, and you have a few of it. But I'm not gonna go through the whole bag of chips with guac. I'm just not. It's oh, just, I am. It's just, I don't know. It, Salsa is the bottom rung of dipping condiments. That's not true. Guac, Are you insane, Guac, dude? up here. Most people don't Queso, like Queso, up here. Nah. French onion dip, up here. Spinach dip, up here. Salsa, eh. You know what? You know what sauce is? Who are you? Who are you? Sauce is the sh- you, as a whole industry. You give it. Sauce is what What's they give dang? you. Sauce is what they give you. Sauce is so low rent. They give it to you for free at any Mexican restaurant before you eat your and meal. And guac is so you uppity, know, they have to overcharge you for it. Well, no, that you you pay for what you're eating. But sauce, they go here. You just have it. We wouldn't even dare it's ask for money. It's made of vegetables. It's made by the people. It's useful. <laughs> it's affordable. It's worldwide. I would actually counter argument and i would say salsa is probably the most popular and used condiment over every is it really a condiment whatever you called it you, over every one of those dipping you sauces only you know said. that because george costanda said it on seinfeld no he because people seinfeld. like to say salsa yeah but he says that he goes salsa is the most popular condiment in in the world why don't why is it on every table he says that okay do you know why no i'm saying that's where like you got your salsa <laughs> <laughs> where are we at pip Lightning round timer. Oh, five minutes. Okay, we got a little time here left. What do How they old taste is, like? When was... Oh, good. You can read this. Does avocado... Avocado has no taste. It is true. I mean, everything else in there is what you're tasting. The avocado doesn't have much of a taste. They need to be seasoned uh, to within an inch of their worthless lives <laughs> to actually have any kind of flavor. You could have no taste buds and still not lose the sensation of enjoying a slice of the green pulp on crisp bread. Ten reasons that the disgusting horrors that are avocados need to be called. Please click. For metro.co.uk. Oh, I can't see that. Uh, they're bland. They're bland. They're slimy. They're slimy. They're everywhere. That's not really a good one. Uh, they're a nightmare to prepare. True. I mean, come the on. ripeness is never right. They ruin perfectly nice food. They're, they're overrated. overrated. I mean, some of this stuff I agree with. But. People who don't like avocados are judged. <laughs> it's, it's hard, hard to spell. Okay. 
I don't know, dude. I I, I just think come on. With I just think guac is super overrated. I think they upcharge you for it. Funny how you watched you eat guac today when you had a choice between guac and salsa. I didn't have a choice. I, I didn't saw have salsa you choice. cheese. That, I didn't, this is how we came up with this. I didn't have a salsa choice. I had to go packets of guac I didn't eat yet. I used it as a, as a healthy on the go snack. If I had if I had salsa, I would have chose the salsa. Just because I ate guac doesn't mean that you can use that against me. But for you to disparage it like this, when I watched you wolf it down, I mean, and it was a disc. Clear this big. the disc. It was like three scoops. Clear every part of it. That's from going up with no money. You know. <laughs> Uh, I I don't know how you could salsa is glorified ketchup. No, no, guacamole no, no. is a dish. No, I refuse to accept it's that. It's a for cuisine. Salsa. It's a cuisine. It's glorified hot sauce salsa, and, it, and it's I can't think of one thing I like to put salsa on aside from again when I get to the Mexican restaurant. I am so hungry. I can't wait. Don't to eat. you love? And I just get to eat the free chips and salsa. Don't you love that they give it to you for free? Yeah. You're saying that like it's a bad thing. Oh, no, it's so it's, low on the on the. It's so low on the ladder that they give it to you for free when you get there. I choose to see that as a plus. I love my free salsa. So you think every Mexican restaurant you go to is so in the uh, in the black? financially they key they could just afford to give this shit away you don't think it's because it's a dime a dozen no i think it's because they're upcharging on the guac and making that and giving the salsa away for free guac guac's been carrying your salsa ass for a long time oh, and man. it'll continue to do so nobody says let's go to the restaurant they have great salsa they say let's go to the restaurant they have great guacamole that's not it true. has been said and that's our time no one <laughs> 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 it's the beauty of the lightning guac has come on strong in the last 10 20 years salsa has been day don't ruin one it. don't ruin it the beauty of the lightning it's part that's the beauty of it don't ruin it guac all right yeah i want brown Shh. Right. here comes the king the king battle today Coke versus Sprite. Sprite. And guess what team <laughs> genius is on? <laughs> Who's genius? Me or you? you. <laughs> I'm on Sprite. <laughs> I'm what else? With thinking? Enough with Coke. What are you thinking? I think the Coke is in our blood. I think it's Coke is Americana. I think Coke is the holidays. I think Coca-Cola Classic is the 50s. I think Coke is the number one soda in the world. But just like we did um, we did something else and it got taken out. Like McDonald's got taken out by Wendy's and, and things like that. I think Sprite is the dark, beautiful crystal horse that is going to take out Coke. I think Coke, a cola classic, has been around forever. People Get There's it. a they reason why it. it's been around. We didn't forever. put Coke against Pepsi because we thought that Coke would win against Pepsi, and so instead, even though I think Pepsi, I might even like sometimes better Coke, than Coke. A hundred twenty-nine years old, Pimp. I want you to show me the numbers. <laughs> what does Coke sell in a year? Wait, okay, but let's. All right, Coke soda sales. <laughs> this is gonna be a tough one for me, <laughs> but I'm hoping that every all your lemon. All my, <laughs> Billion dollars <laughs> and just in the U.S. Just in the U.S. That sounds outrageous. Thirty-three billion. No, no, no. But that's the Coca-Cola company, my friend. Sprite is included in that. Sprite is right. a Coca-Cola product. It should be said. We were going to do Coke versus Pepsi, and we thought that they were too close. And I thought that I needed a zag to go with the zig. So I'm, I'm shouting out. I'm reaching out to all my lemon line. Lemon lime people out there, lemon lime people who love the alternative. For, you know, when I drink a, 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 an ice cold Sprite, I there's a crispness to it. Mm -hmm. The lemon and lime yeah. make me feel like this is a, and it's clear, mm -hmm. so you don't feel like you're drinking this syrupy, like redundant. Just Sprite is the third most consumed soda in the world. Coke, of course, is the first. Has been the most popular soda brand in the U.S. and around the world for decades and continued its dominance last year. Now we're going to rally. I mean, you Sprite's going to rally. Do you understand something? Let me, let me Diet put, Coke is, not, is let number two. Let me put two. Coke in perspective for you. Let me put Coke in perspective for you. Bill Cosby was their spokesperson, and they survived that. Do you understand was he the, the strength of their brand? Yeah, didn't Bill Cosby used to do Coke commercials? I did isn't that why Jello? Isn't that I know, but isn't that why the, the Eddie Murphy joke? Tell Bill I said I have a Coke and a smile and shut the. F 
Yeah, yeah, he did Coke commercials. Oh, shit, yeah. Do you understand the strength of well, a that brand? Was 40 years ago. I understand, but tr- trust me when I tell you this. If Sprite... Sprite has nothing to sneeze at. It sells $6 if, billion all right, dollars all right, a year. All right, but my Sprite point is... Sprite is colorless, lemon-lime-flavored soft drink created by the Coca-Cola company. It right. was first developed in West Germany. What? In 1959 as Fanta Claire Zitrone. Fanta? Clear lemon Fanta. Wait, they're Fanta. So it's connected Fanta. to Fanta, that, that European soda? It was introduced in the United States. I feel like when... Pe- I think that... Uh, well, we know that Sprite was introduced as the competitors to 7-Up, but I think Sprite has passed 7-Up in popularity. I will tell you this. As far as a lemon People lime soda... People don't drink 7-Up anymore. Like, far, they don't talk about it like they used to. 7-Up was king for a while. As far as a lemon lime soda goes, and yes, I am going to talk about your soda in a complimentary way because I've got this so locked, I'm just going to coast. You know what I mean? I mean, there's no <laughs> way Coke is losing. But my point is this. I feel those Sprite people out there I, band together and stand As far up. as a lemon lime soda goes, I, I will go Sprite. I, I do not like the taste of 7-Up anymore. It tastes too much like sugar, like just straight sugar to me. Uh, I do love a Sprite. It's great. But I mean, you sit down. At What's a, more refreshing? You sit down at a burger restaurant. You go to the movies. You, you, you Come on, dude. A, a Coca-Cola float with ice cream. It's like it's what Coke is, Coke is supposed the soda. to taste like? Here we have it. The primary taste of Coca-Cola is thought to come through vanilla and cinnamon with trace amounts of essential oil spices such as nutmeg. I don't really taste much of that in there, maybe, but uh, it's caramelized sugar. I got, Sweet and slightly astringent. I got two 12-packs of soda in my, refriger- my refrigerator right now. Coke Zero, the, the reflavored Coke Zero, which is great, and Cherry Coke Zero. Remember when they tried to do Coke 2? Yeah. And everybody told them, no. Yeah. We don't want Coke 2. Yeah. You stop it right now. And then they made an apology announcement and said, due to the overwhelming demand, let's just forget about Coke 2. Yeah, yeah. And they said, and Co- we'll go back yeah. to Coke they 1. They retconned it. They blundered. Coca-Cola is not without error. They are not unable. The they, they one are, misstep. They are, they are Goliath, but they are that not is unable the to be defeated. one misstep. That is the one misstep even if in 130 years. Even if it's years. in my head, I feel more refreshed. And like Sprite is a, a healthier alternative. Like it's clear and it has lemon and lime in it. It, it just feels more vibrant. Do you know what I... Tangy, zingy, refreshing. Also, Coke just feels like sometimes like it's just like, ah, oh man, like, you ever, like it just feels like, I just feel like it's like eating away at, you ever, like, they, they drop a tooth in a Coca-Cola can and it's gone in, like, a week? What do you week? think happens when you drop a tooth in Sprite? But I don't feel that way. Well, Coke I gotta tell you something. makes me something. feel that way. The rea- I also think there's no caffeine in Sprite. Confirm it's an eye pimp. It said no caffeine. No caffeine. For the, all the people that are no anti-caffeine. No caffeine in Sprite? Well, who the hell wants Raise that? up. Caffeine Raise up. Free. Caffeine free. It also says Coke changes the hue of your teeth. Oh, wow. Yeah, what about that? Over and time, people are still drinking Coke it. People know it'll eat the you. paint. You people, people know it'll eat the paint off your car. They'll still drink it. That's how good it is. They, they use it to take how, rust off of bumpers, bro. That's how good it is that people still drink it, even after seeing that. I've seen them do that. But you know what care. I'm saying? We've had enough of standard cola. Why are you talking like Sprite is some rogue? Like, <laughs> I just think there, that. I mean, it, this is this I is, just think this that, is Britney Spears Because there's, a, cause there's a version of Coke. I guess there's a version of lemon lime for everything too. I was like, there's Shasta, there's there's RC Cola, there's Fago, there's all these different... None co- of them can come close, dude. They actually have to ask the question when you're in a restaurant, you say, I'll have a Coke. They go, is Pepsi okay? Because they know it's a travesty. No, that actually, I think, was contractual. They have to do it. Babe, let's blend it up. I like my hard seltz, but I like a little something extra in it, and that's where Vizzy comes in. You like your antioxidants and your vitamins? I like my vites, my antiox, in my seltz. Uh, I got Vizzy downstairs. I got four different watermelon-based flavors, but they also have pineapple, mango, black cherry lime, uh, strawberry kiwi, blueberry pomegranate, and so on and so on. I'm Um, loving these watermelon flavors. I really love them. They're also launching a lemonade hard seltzer. Did you know that? No. They're getting in the game big time, and this is the only... Only Spike Seltzer that has the antioxidants and vitamin C. Look, if you're gonna have a drink, if you're gonna indulge, if you're gonna have a crisp, delicious viz, why not have why not have something healthy along with it? Yeah, I want to have vitamins love and antioxidants and everything I eat. I love that they're doing the blueberry flavors. I love that they're injecting blueberry into things. 
Cranberry has injected into many drinks over the years. Yeah. Blueberries, time has come. Love bloobs. I love it. I love it. Upgrade. And it's, it's as strong as a beer. It's 5% alcohol by volume. It's only 100 calories. So they're right in there with everybody else. Yeah. Less than a gram of sugar, which is real cane, by the way, yep. per can. And Every less. sip of Vizzy is more exhilarating. And then I think one carb or less per can or something like that, right? So upgrade your hard seltzer to Vizzy. Here's where you're going to go buy it. VizzyHardSeltzer.com slash taste buds. That's VizzyHardSeltzer.com slash taste buds. Order some today. Must be 21 or older. Knock, knock. Who's there, Joe? Hello. Hello, Fresh. <laughs> Let's just skip right to something that I want to talk about with HelloFresh is that with the offer, the offer is gangbusters. With the offer, they give you 14 free meals, which is more than I can say for a lot of people that advertise. Um, you know, fall's busy and HelloFresh here to save you time. Otherwise, you'd spend it meal planning and going to the store and chopping stuff up. This stuff comes right. prepackaged, ready to go. It's good and for single folk. It's good for families. It's good for people that are trying to learn how to cook and here's, get more acclimated. Here's why fall is great, too, okay, for, for, for you to start in hell, with HelloFresh, okay? The fall harvest is officially on with HelloFresh because they're doing seasonal recipes like pumpkin cinnamon rolls and Friendsgiving ready sides and all that kind of stuff. But my mom would always say in the summer when I was growing up, it's too hot to cook. Mm. Let's order out. The fall is such a wonderful time to cook. Yeah. The the leaves are turning. The breeze is cool. Yeah. The air is fresh. You love that fall. It harvest. gets a little dark a little earlier. Cornucopia of, of, of options. Yeah, and you just, it's a warmth. You, you want to be in cooking a nice meal with someone you love, or if you're me, desperately alone but it doesn't matter <laughs> you is, still like cooking that meal it's <laughs> hello fresh is one of the ones that sells itself it's it's 30 yeah. cheaper than going uh shopping at grocery stores it's it comes right to your door it's convenient i right. mean i love it we love it we use it we we, we you know we, we'll talk about it all day long i've said before in the past the strongest accolade i could give to, or compliment i could give to hello fresh is I do like to cook, and I like to buy things and make it from scratch. And I still like HelloFresh because it doesn't feel like some cheap shortcut to a real meal. You actually feel like you're cooking, because you are, but it's easy and convenient. Yeah, and, you're, and, and you're kind of learning, you get a little flair yeah, in there. It's great. Uh, go to HelloFresh.com slash TasteBuds14, uh, TasteBuds14, and use the code TasteBuds14 for up to 14 free meals, <laughs> including free shipping. Uh, that's TasteBuds14, and use code TasteBuds14. And then use the code as well, TasteBuds14, for up to 14 free meals. Uh, HelloFresh, babe, America's number one meal kit. They have no, to they, do they're it. not allowed to give you Pepsi. I understand they that. Can't, they yeah. can't just tell. Yeah, you're not allowed to sell. Shout out nice. Fago, by the way. Shout out Insane Clown. You're not allowed to. You're not allowed. Shout out, allowed to, you're not shout out allowed. Shaggy Too Dope, my boy. You're not allowed. Violent Shay Too. <laughs> this is crazy. First of all, it doesn't contain. Can you read that? Because I can't see uh, it. It doesn't contain phosphorus acid, which is known for dissolving your bones by flushing away calcium. Simply speaking, it does not. Why Sprite is better than Coke? Sprite does not contain phosphorus, phosphoric acid, and it has no caffeine. That's, he's saying that's why it's better. Less sugar than original Coke. But you're missing my point, Sal. You're missing my point. Obviously, they can't serve you something. And what tell is you your point? Tell you it's something else legally. Please tell that's us illegal. your point. They, had, they don't say, we have Pepsi, I'll bring you one of those. They don't say, don't worry, we have Pepsi. They say, is Pepsi okay? Mm -hmm. Because they realize what you asked for was champagne, and they're bringing you Boone's Farm. Do you understand? That's where Coke... Joe, that's not what it is, Joe. That's where Coke no. stands. You ask for something specific they don't have, they have to let you know what they have. Is that's Pepsi why they say okay? They, they all say it the same you way. Th you, think that you, you think that the people that carry Pepsi are like, I'm sorry, we have yes. Boone's Farm levels cola yes. for you. No, dude. Yes. Pepsi's, a, Pepsi's terrific. They just weren't first to market. That's all. Pepsi's a powerhouse. Pepsi is uh, not great. The fight is not Coke-Pepsi, man. I know. All I'm, I'm just saying is, the, all I'm the, saying the is, of Coca. Coca Cola falls under the standard cola flavor, and I'm gonna place a bet that anyone who is and that's anti time. standard cola flavor will rise up and vote for Sprite. And that's time. Put Sprite over the edge. All Eight right. minutes is tight. Let's Eight go to the phones. Is this is gonna be. All right, so we have the three polls here, right? Yep. All right, let's start with... No, no, that's the headliner. I'm going to lose that. 
Tootsie start Pop. Tootsie Blow. Start Tootsie Blow. Okay. Only 9,000 votes on this one. Well, we're only 20. We, we lightened oh, yeah, it. You're right. You're it's right. only 20 minutes in. Okay. We're 35. Okay. All right. Let's just go to the results. Uh, do, we, do we need to pick? Uh, but 24 minutes of battling. Yeah, yeah, let's just go to the results. Okay. For this one. We won't pick a winning thing. It's, it's going to be too long. Oh, no, no. We should read some comments, bro. You think we're so? at 35 minutes. Let's read a couple right, of comments. Right, That's the whole point. No, guys. My grandparents always had Tootsie Pops at their house. I always hated going to my grandparents' house. <laughs> That's very funny. No guy's ever asked me out on a second date because of a Tootsie Pop. I don't That's know what that funny. means. She means blowjob. Oh. The flavor of gum lasts the same amount of time. The Tootsie Roll lasts. They're not even worth it. Tootsie Roll is great. Unlike that gross rubber. Rubber gum, I called it. Uh... And there's the owl. Can scroll a little bit, pimp. Tootsie Pops always. Who in their right mind can pass up a Tootsie Roll or a Tootsie Roll covered in sweet sugary goodness? I don't even like chocolate and can't pass up a Tootsie Pop. I All agree right. with you. Two more and then we'll move on. Blow Pops are hard shell can't. Blow, blow Pops. Sorry. Blow Pops. Hard candy shell and Tootsie Rolls do not go together. Tootsie no. Roll Pops are the devil's spawn of candy. And then finally... Why would anyone want to spend time getting through the center of a candy shell only to discover a tough, disappointing piece of gum? Eating a blow pop is like being a Mets fan ends in, the, in disappointment. Blow pop gum is staler than Joe's love life. Oh, wow. Continue so to I scroll. Would go, I would I'd say... <laughs> and then someone writes underneath, ouch, yeah. that was brutal. I'd say uh, our winner is the grandparents' comment. That's very funny. Right? Yeah, all right, I'll take that. I, Follow I'm getting a sense at, here that people are going tootsie with me, though. At... Follow at C A K E underscore J A P L E N seven. Thank you, sir. For, I think that was. All right, pimp. Right, pimp what are you All going right. on this one, pimp? Oh, 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 my wow. God. Oh, my and God. The I, I, I have a shooting. Is in. I just felt a shooting pain <laughs> in my chest. Oh, I'm taking these things too seriously. Wow. Oh, this is wrong. Oh, it's less than 1%, which means even in five minutes, the tide could change. Too bad we got to move on. It's a lightning oh, show. Oh, 50.8%. Oh. Blow Pop is the winner to, to 49.2%. 49.2%. Humble Pie. H U M B L E Pie. <laughs> oh, we forgot to do the battle chant. Did we do it? No. We didn't? No. So we said. B A T T L E Boys. Buds. 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 The Battle Boys. Boys. Buds. We're the Battle Boys. And this is Taste Buds. No. Um, All right. We, let's do the Humble Pie Chip. And then just didn't do I know, it. I know. Jesus. We did the thing at the beginning. All right. Yeah. Look, look. We got to remember. H U M B L E Pie. All right. <laughs> Say it like that. Like okay, question. Right, yeah. H U M B L E Pie. <laughs> All right. Guac versus Salsa. Click, cl clicked guac meant to click salsa. While guac is good, salsa has the zing to it that guac I can't get. I agree, but let me tell you something right now. Guac. What if you win by a vote? <laughs> guac only equals baby poop. That's true. Guac only <laughs> does equal baby poop. Salsa all the way. I can already hear Joe. Nobody in the history of the world has ever wanted to eat brown guac. That's me. Yeah, yeah. Wow, you guys got to get with it. Guacamole at its peak is at its peak way better than salsa, but salsa is harder to mess up. Salsa, but don't give me that shit that's so chunky it's like eating entire chunks of fruit and veggies. Give me the stuff that is heavenly. All right. You know, I like guacamole, but I can't get past the look or texture. It's, it's too <laughs> close to vomit. Guac is extra for a reason. Guac is avocado diarrhea. Wow. Is guac going to lose? Oh, I hope so. Guac all day, babe. I love both. I but thought I, I was going to win guacamole. with Tootsie Pops. That was a, that's actually really bad. Guac. Less than one point. I I don't know. I saw something that said avocado tastes like clean penis, and I haven't been able to enjoy guac since. Okay. For sure, guac. Anyone choosing salsa over guacamole can immediately be placed in their retirement home and cease all communication. Big guacamole guy, but salsa can go with more things. Shout out Mexican cuisine. If Sal is guac, and we know that you are, he is going to use the argument of the perfect guac is better than the average salsa. You're wrong, Grant Townsend. And then he wrote, but no restaurant can make perfectly fresh guac every time. Yes, they can. Salsa has so both. many variations. Uh, red tomato, mango, pineapple, salsa verde. Mm -hmm. Didn't even get into it. All right. We might not have a winning tweet here. Let's, we got to move on, though. Sorry. Nobody wrote anything funny. They were all serious comments. Let's see who wins. Yes! <laughs> Come on. 
horse shit. Give me a break. 11,000 votes. Salsa wins it 59.6% to 40.4%. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Because, oh, God, thank you. That's I needed ridiculous. that. I thought I was going to lose this one because I think I'm losing Coke Sprite. But I thought I was going to lose this one. I thought I was going to come out one and two today, and I was going to win a Tootsie Pop. Are you feeling bold? At the Coke, Coke Sprite, think- you want to do one refresh? On the on the uh, no. Tootsie Blow and no, just see what I'm happens. No, taking my win and I'm going home. We we should we should make a rule that if something is below one percent, but if it's below one percent, we should revisit it within five minutes. I I don't know about that rule. We'll think about that. All right. Uh, I say Coke just show Sprite. us the results of this Coke one. Sprite was the last one to poll, and in this short amount of time, it was already up to sixteen thousand. Just show votes. us the results of this one. Oh wait 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 wait! I, I don't like reading the comments. Does Coke have its own slam dunk contest? That's what I thought. Ooh, Sprite thank you, sl- Zach. All right. Sprite tastes like the tears of former child soldiers mixed with lemon pine salt. No way that can stack up to Coke. I cur- I personally find the color of Pepsi and Coke to be suspect. Sure, it's brown. Uh, I'm not Bear Gr- Gr- Grylls, so I Bear don't Grylls. know what piss tastes like, but I'm assuming that piss is Sprite if you took the sugar out. Should have been Coke versus Pepsi. Grill, wrong, sorry, bear wrong, 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 wrong. Sprite and the free Disney week got me through chicken pox in the fourth grade. Sprite. If you if you pick Sprite, please get in the bin. <laughs> I like that. That's very funny. The clarity of Sprite leads me to believe that it has no soul. <laughs> Sprite is a refreshing drink. Drinking a Coke tastes like a shot of cough syrup, and it leaves a gross film on your throat. I agree with you, Alicia. <laughs> Sprite had a flavor called Sprite on Fire. I wish their production line was. <laughs> That's our lead. As yeah. a child, I preferred Sprite. Then my balls dropped and I discovered the power of Coke. All right. That's our lead. Sprite tastes like licking an old tube TV. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I don't disagree. All right. All right. The correct answer is always Diet Coke. Coke can F itself. Coke just hits different and you know it. Sprite is the water of soda. All right, let's give it to the guy that said his balls dropped. <laughs> Congrats, Anthony Feeney. Follow him at A N T H O N Y F I N N I. All right, Feeney. folks. All right, just give it to me, Tim. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too Not bad. Not too bad. But Bumble a win. Pie, 65.8% Coke to 34.2% Sprite. I don't think that's recoverable by Sprite, but I also don't think it was like a, an insane route. <laughs> I still love you, babe. I love you, too. Taste buds. They come into the mic. Talking about the food they hate. Talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds. Man, yeah, they come into the mic. I'm talking taste buds.